Hi folks and welcome to Coming Distractions, a live's weekly entertainment video segment. Um, we've got music talk for you. Yes. Um, we've got a little bit of sports talk, a little bit of the great outdoors. and uh, A lot know. of the great outdoors. They're, All right. The outdoors are already great this year. Um, I have been going to uh, each metro park, uh, you know, that's, that's in the Columbus metro park system, and I've found every one to be pretty awesome. Um, also, we're going to be writing about... Uh, their free education classes that are offered uh, at the various parks uh, throughout the summer, really, and it ranges from everything from, you know, birding to collecting wildflowers to you know basic camping skills and basically these things. I've been to a couple; they're very informal. You just show up. Some some are a little early for me, but um, you just go there and you you know it's an hour or two, um, and, and you learn like really what's you know in all of these parks. And a lot of people who live in the city think that. Oh, they're just you know a couple of picnic tables, and they're really not. I mean, there's they're really great preserves and wildlife ha light habitats, you know, within like you know 15 minutes driving distance. And I think we we in Columbus should be really thankful of that. I know I am. Um, so I will be giving regular updates on my blog and uh, in print uh, as we head into the the fun times uh, that are had in the, in the uh, summer in this city. Okay, um, so where, what about, like, where can people find out how to sign up for that kind of stuff? Um, I have it all on my blogs. Uh, just search Columbus Metro Parks. Um, Metro Parks is two words, uh, and it'll, it'll pop right up. The website's really easy to use. Um, you have uh, maps, directions, um, offerings for each of the parks, in addition to another page uh, at their site uh, with all the classes um, listed by date. Um, really easy to use. You should definitely check it out. All right, well, let's move on to the great indoors, <laughs> yeah. specifically live music. Um, I know you're looking forward to Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon. It's next week. Kings of Leon is at the Newport uh, next Wednesday, June 13th. Um, I've got a review uh, of their new record, Because of the Times, uh, in the paper this week. I think it's their best album. Um, I know it doesn't have a lot of the catchy singles that they've had on their first two, but as an album, I kind of compare it to Exile on Main Street, hmm. uh, which is kind of a... That's you pretty know, high praise. That's pretty high praise, but in... in in, what I mean by that is that it's a coherent album and it's meant to be enjoyed and taken in full and I think that that shows a real sign of maturity among the band. What do you got? Well, I'm mostly this week looking forward to Tree of Snakes. Um, it's you know the local punk band, their last show with the original lineup. Um, Mike Hinsey, the bass player, is moving to California so they're throwing quite a bash down at Bernie's. I haven't been to Bernie's for a while yeah. so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, it's Friday night at Bernie's, um, probably around 10 o'clock. They've got um, great openers, some of my favorite bands in town, Necropolis, um, Envelope, and Times New Viking, I heard, is going to play it too, the, the buzz magnets that they are. Um, <laughs> it's basically just going to be kind of all, the, all those, those folks in those bands you know, have been friends for you know, several years, and they kind of all came up together. They're all pretty successful um, musical groups at this point, sure. and uh, they kind of got their start at Bernie's, you know, just drinking at happy hour there on Fridays, <laughs> playing Columbus bands on the jukebox. So it, it's kind of cool that for the last Tree of Snakes show with the original lineup, they're, they're bringing it back down there to Bernie's. Um, I'm really sure. looking forward to that on Friday night. As far as what's on disc, um, I've been getting a lot of great stuff from old 3C Records, which is run by Paul Nini, who's formerly of Great Plains and Log. And basically, this guy's been busy. He is putting together all of these uh, repackaging, um, re-releases of old albums. Some of them were on tapes, like he, the one, one of the ones I got was uh, Great Plains, Slaves to Rock and Roll. It's report, recorded at Stashes and Crazy Mamas, all these places that I've never been because I came to Columbus way too late to see the glory days. But all of this stuff is like, they're really interesting time capsules of a scene that, you know, happened in the 80s and all of these bands got like national recognition and, and they're kind of still embedded in the rock consciousness of Columbus. And Go to old3c.com, that's numeral three, um, and, and there's a whole catalog. Most of them are 10 to 12 bucks, and, and I suggest picking up at least a handful of them. Um, I've got reviews of uh, a couple of them on my blog, and we're going to do some print coverage on the label uh, coming up. Okay, so, so definitely check that out. That's definitely stuff worth, worth paying attention to. The, the last thing we wanted to talk about real quick um, was, of course, starting Thursday night, the NBA Finals. Cavs in five. That is my prediction. So when they do win in five or earlier, uh, you can check back here and saw that we had the most realistic prediction because the Cavs aren't getting a lot of love. But then again, they didn't get a lot of love in the Detroit series either. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm so bold as to say Cavs in five, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to go out there and say Cavs in seven. 
Cavs wounds, so it's going to be another nail biter. I'm going to feel exhausted. I mean, when I watch these games, you're going to so, hate the NBA. Oh by the my time god! It's over. I mean, it's been so long, and after every game coming down to the wire, I'm sweaty and tired. I feel like I actually played. So with that, I'm John Ross. Uh, you can check out my blog, The Riot Act, uh, ColumbusAlive.com. And uh, same, I'm Chris Deville. You can also read my blog, Sensory Overload, at ColumbusLive.com/sensory. And uh, we will see you next time. Enjoy your entertainment options.